Greg with Box Family Heating and Air. Um, so I'm just kind of continuing the series on uh, how the company has gone for us. Um, we just started our business this year. I got my contractor's license uh, back in December of 2015. It is August of 2016 now. So I've uh, been in, officially been in business for nine months. And uh, I've had some people ask me how business is going and uh, how I'm you know how I'm doing it you know one of the first uh, things that really hit me right off the bat was uh, dealer loyal dealer loyalty and who should I what whose product should I sell out there when I worked for a different company we used to always sell and install rude products and that was you know, I was just uh, I was just used to installing Rude, but that didn't mean that I was gonna just automatically go start installing Rude products. Um, I knew that Bryant was uh, another company that was around that was uh, that was another company that I liked. I liked the way their condensers uh, sounded. I feel I felt like they were they were less noisy. Uh, I liked the room inside the uh, cabinet for the uh, for the air conditioner outside. Um, wasn't like a huge fan of the burner the burner rack on the Bryant's. Uh, I like to be able to take those apart and clean them with a wire brush and um, I don't know the, the manifold on that uh, gas line is I don't know it's just a little bit more difficult to get in at sometimes um, and even on the package units the way their their uh, burners uh, are set up to get into and, and get access to them, uh, but uh, you know these are little things that you're that you're uh, that you're thinking of. You're like, oh, you know, like, do I want to sell the best? Do I have to sell the best, or you know, like the most the most widely advertised product out there, which is probably like train, uh, train American Standard stuff. And, and me being the middle class uh, blue collar guy that. I, you know, I came up in the Midwest, grew up in the Midwest, uh, in a in a blue collar town, and I'll never be that kind of guy where I have to install the best. You know, I will only install the the best. Uh, I'm a you know middle class guy. I want to install. Usually, I want to install like middle of the road stuff, and I'm not going to install the bottom the bottom. Uh, in my opinion, what is going to be the bottom uh, cheap stuff. So, and a lot of my customers feel the same way. A lot of my customers so far have been like, no, I don't need the most expensive unit out there. Um, and they're like, no, I don't want the cheapest thing out there either. If you could just give me a good product that's right in the middle, you know, that's what I'd like to have installed in my house. So, the other big uh, factor that came into it was who's treating me right? Because I felt like the guys from Ferguson HVAC here in uh, Sacramento, uh, I felt like the territory manager was like really going out of his way to make me feel like part of his family, to make me feel special. Uh, I'm a I, at the time I was a one a man one man uh, contractor, one man show, and I was doing all the installs by myself, and and he was recognizing that I was trying to work hard and. You know he's got companies around here that, you know he's he, he's already got, he's already got all the other big companies in town buying from him, but he and I can call or text him anytime and and he will uh, he'll he'll be there to answer my questions, and I got to tell you that that makes me feel special. Uh, there was a territory manager from Bryant who was also, um, you know, sort of holding me by the hand, helping me out inviting me to different events like um, the Sacramento Kings, you know, private basketball practices or stuff like that, um, which was great. I really appreciated that. Uh, he also offered to invite me to uh, 
their Bryant dealer meeting uh, at the end of the year. Really, the only reason why I didn't go with uh, Bryant as my as my default product is because they're on the other side of town, and Ferguson HVAC they sell rude products, and they are on this side of town. So they're on my they're on my side of town. Uh, they're a lot easier to get to. They're probably 15 minutes away from my house, whereas you know Bryant and uh, Slinky Brothers, those guys are about 45 minutes away. So you know that that played a big deal. That played a big part in deciding which dealer I was going to be you know loyal to. And uh, it's nice. It's turned out really well. If I need well, Root has always been good because if I ever need warranty products. Ferguson has always been really good about getting me those parts by the next morning. The, the next morning at 6 a.m., that part's usually available if they don't already have it in their warehouse. Like a lot of parts, they, they usually already carry. But maybe an inducer motor or something like that, uh, they might have to wait until the next morning. So I really settled down with uh, I've really settled down with Root, and I'm going to stay with them. Uh, I thought they did a great job recently on their uh, redesign of their units. I feel like there's a lot more room now in their AC control panels. Um, their uh, their doors on their furnaces, they you know they don't just slide on and off now. They they actually have some latches, um, so that you know just makes it a lot easier to put the doors on, uh, and in they're they're very easy to install. 34 inch cabinet on the um, on the furnaces make it easier uh, to do your uh, change outs when you have a system in the closet or the or the uh, garage or something like that if you're limited on room I literally could not put a train furnace in this one uh, in this one uh, closet because uh, trains furnace trains uh, furnace is like four inches taller and I just didn't have that four inches of room so uh, you know, put, put, putting the uh, the 34 inch uh, furnace in there with a four inch filter base and the smallest coil I could find that would still reach 16 sear. Um, that was nice to be able to fit that fit that unit in there. Uh, I heard that train is going to uh, come out with a 34 inch, uh, and that will be that'll be nice when that happens. So. Um, So that's just a little bit more on uh, what's been going on with with uh, with me and our company and how we're developing. Uh, I'm just doing a little series here because uh, some guys wanted to know how my company is going and how I'm doing it. So uh, I sure would like to hear your comments. Go ahead and type them down below. Uh, like, subscribe, please. Uh, and if, uh, if any of you guys are uh, going to be contractors in the future or are currently contractors and have any questions, <laughs> not like I can answer the current co contractor's questions, but if anybody has, you know, is up and coming and wanting to go that route, feel free to text me um, anytime uh, and uh, I'll be happy to answer any questions I can. I'm in California, so I know a lot more about California than I do, obviously, anywhere else. And... Um, so uh, I'm going to wrap this video up and we'll continue the series uh, with my next video coming up shortly. So see you on the next one.